it so today in this video we are going to make aloo puri which is potato puri and for the ingredients we have here two cups of wheat flour two large potatoes boiled and mashed and one and a half spoon of salt one spoon of red chili powder a pinch of turmeric a pinch of garam masala powder fenugreek leaves and parsley so instead of coriander leaves i am using parsley here because parsley is something uh, rich in antioxidants support bone health and contains a cancer fighting substance good for eyes good for heart moreover it's easy to add in your diet so that's why <laughs> so <laughs> anyways um uh, over here i have greek yogurt i am going to add one spoon of greek yogurt in my puri uh, puri dough and then over here i have lemon extract which i am going to add two to three drops and just make sure you don't have to add any water in this mixture of the dough uh, because we are adding uh greek yogurt then the potatoes and the lemon extract so this moisture uh is enough to make the dough uh enough to make the proper dough so you don't need to add any water so let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put all of this in the bowl and then i am going to just few drops of lemon extract and over here i have mashed potato someone to record my video anyways mm. so it's done and now i am also going to add some yogurt to it just one spoon if the moisture you need uh, more moisture in this you're going to add more yogurt but not the water make sure so now i'm going to start kneading the dough if you don't have parsley available in your place you can even use the coriander as well so coriander have a lot of health benefits too and it gives you the fragrance in the food which is really good why i am not adding the coriander is just because kids doesn't like to have a lot of uh, greenery in the food so I just make sure sometime I add the coriander and sometime parsley. So I use both of them. So my dough is almost done. I think I need a little more of moisture into it. So I'm going to add a little bit of yogurt. maybe two spoons of yogurt it's just i am trying to keep it very healthy for the kids uh, that's why i'm not adding any water to it make sure you don't add any water uh, just in case if you don't uh, want to add the yogurt you can add the milk As you can see my dough is ready 
and at the end I have added one spoon of oil to it and knead the dough and I have knead the dough uh, which I forgot to show you guys sorry about that and as you can see my dough is very smooth now it's done properly so now I'm going to set it aside for 10 minutes then we'll fry our pulleys so guys here I have kept the oil to heat it up and meanwhile I am also gonna make some potato curry to go with the puris so for the potato curry here are the ingredients um, three potatoes I have boiled them and chopped them into cubes and green chili one large green chili I have chopped them into three pieces and then one large onion few curry leaves uh, two garlic cloves diced and one dried red chili for the powdered masalas I have here uh, one and a half spoon of uh, salt and half spoon of red chili powder lastly I have here the mustard seed I am going to add a uh, half spoon of uh, mustard seed into the curry so let's begin now the oil is hot first thing I'm gonna add in is garlic then mustard seeds let them splutter then we're gonna add in our curry leaves and dried red chili Make sure to keep your hands away when the mustards are splattering. And now I'm going to add in the onions. Make sure to cook the onions until it slightly changes the color. You don't have to wait until the onions are golden in color. Just wait until it slightly changes the color. And then we're gonna add our green chilies. So now the onions have started to change the color. I am going to add in green chilies. To this recipe you can also add in your uh, capsicum if you want to. That gives a very good taste. And now I am going to add in our powder masalas. Let's add red chili powder and salt. And now I'm going to add in the potatoes. So now I'm going to mix it.
as you can see my, I have kept the flame on low now I'm going to add some water to it potatoes are already boiled so it's not going to take a lot of time just cover them and cook for 2 3 minutes then we are done uh, lastly you can just sprinkle with coriander leaves so my potato is ready looks really yummy do try the recipe guys and now i'm going to fry the puris You can see our oil is hot now and I am going to add our first puri into it. Just make sure you drench the puri into the oil. Keep putting the oil on top of the puri. Wow. coming fluffy I'm just taking out on the kitchen towel sorry paper towel and another puri onto the oil Amazing. As you can see, wow, it, it, it comes out really fluffy if you have made the dough properly, otherwise, the poils are not going to come like this. Amazing. Now, our puris are ready. So guys our puri and potato curry is ready so these are uh, alu puris as you can see it looks very soft guys wow it looks very soft but uh, for the excess oil you what you can do is put on to the uh, uh, paper towel so that the oil comes out so if you like the recipe guys do like share and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching guys bye bye